Hello, PsychIQ community. Today, we embark on a profound exploration into the enigmatic world of INFJs and a phenomenon that has both intrigued and puzzled many, the infamous INFJ door slam. 1. Understanding the INFJ door slam. The INFJ door slam is a defense mechanism where an INFJ abruptly cuts off a person or a relationship due to perceived betrayal, emotional exhaustion, or significant disappointment. 2. The protective shield. INFJs door slam as a way to protect their sensitive hearts from further harm. It's a survival instinct to safeguard their emotional well-being. In the intricate tapestry of the INFJ personality, the concept of the protective shield stands out as a crucial facet. It serves as a fortress guarding the delicate and sensitive core of the INFJ soul. Let's delve into the layers of this shield, understanding its origin, purpose, and the profound impact it has on the INFJ's emotional landscape. At the heart of the protective shield is the INFJ's emotional citadel, an intricate structure built to shield against the storms of emotional turmoil. This citadel is constructed from the bricks of past experiences, lessons, and sometimes, scars. The protective shield is often erected in response to the perceived threat of betrayal. INFJs, with their empathetic nature, feel deeply, and when that depth is met with betrayal, the shield becomes a necessary defense mechanism. For the INFJ, preserving emotional well-being is paramount. The protective shield is not a symbol of detachment but a strategy to ensure that their empathetic nature doesn't become a vulnerability that leads to emotional exhaustion. Within the walls of the shield lies a sanctuary, a space for self-preservation. The INFJ retreats to the sanctuary to recharge, reassess, and navigate the complexities of their emotions in solitude. The protective shield operates as an invisible barrier that others may not immediately perceive. It doesn't manifest as overt defensiveness but as a subtle shift in emotional availability, signaling that certain boundaries are in place. The construction of the protective shield is often a result of learned wisdom. INFJs, having experienced the depths of emotional pain, develop this mechanism as a response to safeguard their hearts from recurring wounds. INFJs are prone to emotional drain, especially in relationships where their empathetic qualities are exploited or misunderstood. The protective shield guards against such drains, helping maintain a reservoir of emotional energy for genuine connections. Balancing empathy and self-care is a delicate dance for INFJs. The protective shield allows them to engage with others compassionately while ensuring that their emotional resources are not depleted to the point of burnout. The protective shield operates with a transparency of boundaries. INFJs communicate their need for space or emotional distance, providing a signal to others that their internal world requires respectful acknowledgement. Paradoxically, the protective shield becomes a catalyst for personal growth. It prompts INFJs to introspect, learn from their experiences, and cultivate a deeper understanding of their own emotional landscape. Visualizing the protective shield includes understanding the metaphorical walls and drawbridges. Walls are erected to keep out emotional harm, while drawbridges represent the INFJ's selective choice of when to allow others into their inner sanctum. The protective shield is not a hindrance to connection but a facilitator of healthy relationships. It ensures that the INFJ engages in connections that align with their values, fostering a harmonious balance between boundaries and genuine connection. The protective shield guides the INFJ in navigating the delicate dance of vulnerability. It allows them to be open and authentic selectively, choosing moments when the risk of emotional exposure is met with reciprocal understanding. Understanding the protective shield within the INFJ personality is an enlightening journey into the nuanced world of emotional self-preservation. It's a testament to the INFJ's capacity for resilience, introspection, and the pursuit of meaningful connections while safeguarding the sanctity of their emotional well-being. 3. The Weight of Betrayal Betrayal weighs heavily on an INFJ's heart. The decision to door slam often arises from a deep sense of hurt and the need to create distance for self-preservation. For the silent retreat the door slam is often executed silently, with the INFJ withdrawing emotionally and physically from the person or situation causing distress. 5A Cry for Boundaries The INFJ door slam is, in essence, a cry for boundaries. It's a way for the INFJ to communicate that their emotional limits have been breached, and a reevaluation is necessary. 6 The Door Slam's Impact 
The impact of an INFJ door slam can be profound, not just for the person on the receiving end but also for the INFJ, who may grapple with feelings of guilt and sadness. 7. Reopening the door slam, a journey begins. Reopening an INFJ door slam is a delicate process. It requires introspection, communication, and a mutual willingness to understand and heal. 8. The power of communication. Open and honest communication is the key to reopening the door slam. Both parties must be willing to express their feelings, share perspectives, and listen with empathy. 9. Reflecting on expectations. Reflecting on expectations is crucial. The reopening process involves examining the expectations that led to the door slam and whether they were realistic or based on misunderstandings. 10. Healing through understanding. Understanding each other's perspectives is a healing balm. Acknowledging the pain caused and expressing a genuine desire to move forward fosters an environment for healing. 11. Establishing healthy boundaries. Establishing healthy boundaries becomes a cornerstone for rebuilding the connection. Both parties need to define and respect these boundaries to create a foundation of trust. 12. Navigating emotional waters. Emotions can be turbulent during the reopening process. Patience, empathy, and a willingness to navigate these emotional waters together are essential. 13. Cultivating forgiveness. Forgiveness is a powerful catalyst for healing. Both the INFJ and the other party need to cultivate forgiveness, recognizing that everyone is human and prone to mistakes. 14. Learning and growth. The reopening process is an opportunity for learning and growth. Reflecting on past behaviors, understanding triggers, and committing to personal development contribute to a healthier dynamic. 15. The role of apology. A sincere apology, coupled with changed behavior, can bridge the gap. The person on the other side of the door slam acknowledging their role in the situation is a significant step. 16. Building trust anew. Rebuilding trust is a gradual process. Consistency, transparency, and mutual respect contribute to the slow but steady reconstruction of trust between the parties. 17. Embracing vulnerability. Both the INFJ and the other party must embrace vulnerability. Opening up about fears, insecurities, and past wounds fosters a deeper connection built on authenticity. 18. Celebrating progress. Celebrating small milestones and progress is vital. Acknowledge the efforts made, the understanding gained, and the positive changes contributing to the journey of reconnection. 19. Seeking professional guidance. In some cases, seeking the assistance of a professional, such as a therapist or counselor, can provide valuable guidance and support during the reopening process. 20. The evolution of relationships. The reopening of an INFJ door slam signifies the evolution of relationships. It's an acknowledgement that growth, understanding, and resilience can transform pain into an opportunity for connection. As we conclude this exploration into reopening the INFJ door slam, we invite you to share your thoughts, experiences, and any insights you may have on this intricate aspect of INFJ relationships. If you found this content resonant or know someone navigating similar waters, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth discussions on the complexities of human psychology here at PsychIQ.